Hello, welcome. I'm going to show you the original three castle theme sets from Lego. It was first released in 1978, so this would be the 40th anniversary. They were in production for three years, and then Lego took a three year break from the castle theme, then came back with much more detailed sets. I will have a few comparisons to those, but I'm going to focus on these little three sets, even though I am missing some minifigures and accessories. But the structures are here, and I have the manuals. I'll have scans of these on the blog, so there'll be a link in the video description. And the first one here, let's move these out of the way, is the Knight's Procession. As you can see in the picture, there should be six minifigures, so I'm missing two of these guards. They'd be identical. I also had to substitute a newer sword. This one, they're identical except for the color. This one, the newer ones are a darker gray. So the cart, it's quite simplistic. It's only a few pieces, the handle, just the straight plank, the wheels. And then you have another, it's a four by four brick on top and then a bunch of just little random colored bricks to make it look like there's something of importance. These wheels, these are the same that you'd see on any vehicle on the town sets. For comparison, I do have, well, this is an incomplete item right now, but this is what the wheels look like later in 1984. Much more realistic, wooden looking wagon wheel. All right, so said really simplistic set. The next set is the Knight's Tournament. This is a jousting tournament, and missing from this one are just two guards. They look pretty similar to the other ones, just with a different crest on the chest. And there are a few problems with my set, but very minor. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. It's very light. There's some discoloration on some of the white bricks. I think it's from storage, and if you're a collector, you're probably already familiar with good ways to store things. I really wasn't paying attention when I had a lot of my stuff in storage and excessive heat can damage things and I think that's what discolored some of these. It also altered the gray bricks a bit that are on the newer castle. They turn like a yellowish color so yeah be careful if you have your things in storage you might want to check on them. So this is the king and queen sitting under the tent and on a throne. I am missing a cup. There should be two blue cups. One other inconsistency here, uh, you'll see this happens a few times, is stickers. Now, I think LEGO provided sticker sheets in most sets, so these are probably my doing or my parents doing. I likely got these in 1981, so I would have been six at the time. All the stickers are upside down on, the, on these flags. Yeah, it looks funny, but it's not a huge deal. So, these are the knights. And the horse is very square. I mean, they're a little big, but that's what happens when you gotta build a horse out of bricks. They, they don't quite match to scale to the little minifigures. And the flip up masks. And these are nice, like, they make them look like they have the dress for the jousting. The other horses you'll see in a bit, they don't have that. The ones that came at the castle. Now, here's a comparison. To the newer horses so it's it's not a horse you build it's just a complete piece of plastic comes you know looks just like a horse and it has a saddle that can be removed and it also has a clip on it so he's holding his jousting lance on the clip you can put a variety of small leg objects there if you pull the saddle out you can just stick a regular brick in there to then make it look like you know it's just a regular horse Alright, the last item is, of course, the castle. Rather well known Lego set. I don't know if this guy might be cut off a little, but they're all the same. So, almost completely yellow. There are some red highlights, like the drawbridge here. Of course, you can crank it up. There's also red doors on the back, and then 
few black pieces, more red here, and then all the uh, the uh, floorboards that they're standing on are gray, and then the base is the green kind of grass, I guess it's supposed to be. So there, there are hinges, four hinges, hinge blocks, I guess, around this, so they, it does open up. And it's really nothing inside. I mean, that makes it easier, I guess, if you have anything going on playing inside of it, but it doesn't itself come with anything to do inside. It's just empty space. And here's the back. The doors push inward. So I am missing some minifigures here as well. So they have you have build uh, three black horses and one white horse. A few discrepancies on these guys is the manual shows gray lances. I substituted the newer ones that are brown and they should all wear gray helmets. And I substituted colored ones that match their armor, which I think looks better. And I am missing a lot of the face masks and some shields. And these guys all each have a, a guard that accompanies them. I only have a couple of them. Now, if you're familiar with this set, you're probably wondering, where the heck are the tunics? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These came with these plastic pieces you put under their head like a tunic. So it would be like front and back. And that's where you're supposed to put the stickers. Just like with the tournament set, I don't know who applied the stickers, but apparently I never had the tunic pieces that go on here or someone threw them away so the stickers are directly on the minifigures and a couple of aren't the way the manual shows them these two guys and just look at their back the manual has these stickers flipped so I just I don't know who put them on again but I think it looks nice nicer this way as far as the color scheme of course you can put stickers wherever you want on toys you don't have to follow the manual Something I think I did a lot of with G.I. Joe stickers. <laughs> Didn't always put them in the correct spots. And there are stickers on the castle. This front one. I have one on the back too, even though the manual doesn't show it. But I assume it's part of the set. I don't know what else it would belong to. And then shield stickers. I have one here. The manual has them on the side too, which I don't have. I think they probably fell off. And for comparison, I do have the 1984 King's Castle. They made various castle sets in the 80s. I think this is the main one for the newer sets. And it's very similar to this one. From back to front, it's actually the, the same length. It may look larger because the front base piece sticks out farther and the drawbridge is longer. But it is slightly wider, but like I said, it is the same length front to back. So, one main difference though is also it has a gate on it, which is on a string and a brick that you can just pull and then snap to the base of the set to hold it in place. And the drawbridge works the same way, you can just wind it up. It also opens up like the yellow castle, though not the same, there's only three parts to this one. And the piece here kind of clicks in place but it does have one thing inside of it well it has weapon clips too around it but it has a a prison a little bit of dust going in there it's a prison cell it's barred here so just a little door you can open up and put a minifigure in and of course the bricks are very different if you look at the details a lot of these are flat, single pieces with the windows, so less pieces, easier to build, and more details. But, I mean, you could say that removes a little bit of the fun. I mean, there's only so much you can do with these windows. You can't make as many variations as you can with this. You know, most LEGO manuals, at least in the past, come with pictures of variations. They don't show you how to build them, though, but... You can do whatever you want with the pieces. You don't have to build the exact set, of course. Alright, so 
that's about it. I'm going to do a close up. I'm going to take the camera in hand and kind of go around, give you some close ups. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'm holding the camera now, so it'll be a little bumpy. And the microphone's far away. It's just really the only place I could put it, but it wouldn't be in the way. So attached to the the camera, it um picks up the focus noise. So I'm going to be shouting a bit when I do talk. I'm going to give some overhead views as well. I was thinking a bit more about these damage bricks. It's possible they were in direct sunlight for a bit. There's the upside down flags. Well, the stickers. So, yeah, sunlight may, might make more sense than excessive heat, but heat has definitely damaged some of my toys. Certain types of plastic get a sticky feeling to them just from too much heat. Probably from not enough airflow as well. I'm going to try to lower the bridge while I'm standing here if I can. Oh, I gotta move my arm. <laughs> and I'm moving the camera. Alright, let's see here. Causing shadows as well. Alright, see the big mess on the floor in front of the table. And there's not too much in the back. I'll just go by it real quick. really only the yellow castle that has something back there, of course, the doors. There's the other sticker I mentioned earlier. just thought it made sense above the doors. Alright. I'm going to end it here, so thanks for watching.